Hey everyone, Golden Ninja 3000 here again. Welcome back to another 2021 haul video. This is going to cover some Amazon Prime Day deals as well as the new July 2021 Lego sets. So starting things off, I did get a second copy of the Avengers Compound Battle set. This was $60 on Amazon over Prime Day, which is a fantastic price for this. Um, I really wanted to duplicate Thanos for those arms so I can put them on the new one, and I actually just want the pieces so that I can kind of expand on the new 2021 compound set. I got this Thwomp Drop Super Mario set because this is one of my favorite expansion sets just based on looks alone. It's usually $40, but it was $30 again on Amazon. And then I got this really strange set that I don't know if you guys even remember this line, but this is DC Superhero Girls. This set came out in 2017. It's Batgirl's Secret Bunker. I got this for, I want to say, $40 maybe. I think it used to be like $55 or something at retail. Um, I, I don't know. I just, I kind of missed these sets because I think that they were really unique. I like the Batgirl mini doll, but I just think that this looks like a cool abandoned warehouse, you know, if I ever get to expand my city with some more like uh, derelict sections. And we are going to continue with some more Super Mario sets. This is like a pretty random little haul. I got the Tanuki Mario suit, I got the Penguin Mario suit, I got the Desert Pokey expansion set, I got the Chain Chomp Jungle Encounter expansion set, and I got Wiggler's Poison Swamp. So um, as I'm sure you can tell, I kind of used Prime Day deals as an opportunity to just catch up on all the Mario sets I've missed. I still don't have Bowser's Castle, which is really sad because I desperately want that, but I want to catch up before the new ones come out in August, otherwise I'm just never going to end up getting these. All right, and now let's get into some random Lego orders I placed. I got this free Dots Cube thing. Um, I did get a duplicate. I'll be selling that one. I just keep all of these. Um, I, I just like getting, you know, like kind of one copy of every freebie. I got the Cyber Drone set. This is a really nice creator set, so I'm really excited to build it, and I really like that figure. Then... Got a bunch of flower sets. These guys have been out of stock for months. They finally came back in stock. Got two each of the tulips and roses to complement the 18 plus flower bouquet. I got a free pirate ship swing ride. I did actually get, you know, like another one of these, which I will be selling. This is a really awesome set. Uh, I can't wait to build it. And I really hope that it's hinting at a direct to consumer swing ship ride because that's been rumored since like 2020. Also did a little bit of Frozen catch-up, got Bruni the Salamander, and I also got Elsa and the Knock Storybook Adventures. I love, like, the, the new mini dolls in here um, and that new mini Knock piece. Uh, I just, I really like these storybook sets in general, but this one just has cool pieces. Got the Monkey Kid White Dragon Horse Jet. This is one of my favorites from that March wave, aside from the Flower Fruit Mountain, which I already have. And then... Ugh. I did get the Ideas Sesame Street set as well. Like I said, a lot of catch up. Um, I just like now that there were good promos, like with the swing ship ride and stuff like that, I just wanted to go ahead and take advantage of that and finally pick up some of these Lego exclusives. The Frozen stuff, again, was from Amazon, but like Sesame Street and Monkey Kid, you can only get that from Lego themselves. And like I said, I did go to the Lego store yesterday on July 1st. I just couldn't get this haul video out then because it was a busy day. I got a pick a brick cup, haven't done this in a while. COVID restrictions are gone in the store. I was kind of surprised by that, didn't love that. I think that something should definitely still be in place, but it was great to be able to do pick a brick. And it was great to be able to do build a minifigure because I have also missed out on a bunch of these pieces. So I just tried getting like all of the random coolest pieces I could find. I couldn't find the bear's legs. So I just got those strange pieces so that I could make like a custom um, like 80s Agonist from WandaVision. I also got this little gold keychain. Uh, I completely forgot that keychains are now so expensive. They're like $6 instead of five, but I just wanted this to go with my chrome red one. And then I did get two of the mini Adidas set as well for spending um, well over $85 at the Lego store. So that's nice. Again, one to keep, and then I'll just end up selling the duplicate. And of course, I did get the regular Adidas set as well. I love this packaging. This is like my favorite Lego box, like pretty much ever. The only thing is that it makes it impossible to tell like what it is. 
I couldn't find it at the store. I thought they had sold out because I forgot that it was in a shoe box. I thought it was in an 18 plus box. There was no build. They weren't advertising it at all. These were just like tucked away on a shelf in the creator expert section, like really hard to find. So I think that that's kind of a poor planning thing. And lastly, I got what is my favorite set of the summer, I think, outside of, you know, Marvel and Harry Potter. But I mean, it's still pretty impressive. I got the brand new Ice Castle. I have been waiting for something like this for years. I never bought the smaller Ice Castles, even though I wanted them. So I am very, very excited to build this. I'm really excited to build all of this. I haven't been doing a lot of building lately because I've been so busy. Um, I just don't know what to start with. So I guess I'll figure it out. All right, well, that does it for this haul. Like I said, I'm really excited to start building, but it's definitely going to be a game of what to prioritize. I'm probably not going to get to Super Mario for a little while just because I'm really excited to do my Frozen stuff and then to do the Adidas shoe. But that's it for today, so don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in more videos soon. Bye for now!